You are I'd say I'm uh, a pike angler who goes carp fishing in the summer. Um, oh yeah, I fish for everything. I love my roach fishing probably more than my rad fishing. So www. Just going back to my family roots. My, it's what the old man taught me ever since I was a tiny boy, you know. So every time you get that float rod out, it's like going back to being a child, ain't it? Yeah, he was just a very outdoors person, you know, and he taught us everything, how to cut down trees, how to build sheds, how to skin rabbits, how to do like, I don't know, how to be a country folk almost. Hence your nickname that we have given you, Feral Fish. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I blame my dad for that. But yeah, he was my best friend ever. Because I never got a chance to go up there, the old man, I thought, I'll tell you what I'll do. I used all his stuff, so I used all my dad's old Eddie Turner alarms. Or, and I caught that too, yeah, it was £28 that went, £28 on a button, on a live baited bream. To catch that and all the old man's gear and to hear the light, he, hear his drop off go, the same sound that I used to hear as a little boy, you know. Yeah, it was unbelievable. And I, I kept that in the net and I sat in my bivvy yeah, and I cried. Right, Finn, the first thing we'll do is say thank you for letting us aboard your beautiful boat, which, as we sit here and look around, is not like most other boats. The walls are littered with things that I would guess mean a lot to you. Yeah, everything does, yeah. Everything has a little story, I suppose. And do you want to talk us through just, to, you know, what are we surrounded by? Because some of the tackle doesn't quite look like what I think most carp anglers of the modern era would have uh, in their boat, should they have one. It's pike fishing gear, it's stuff my dad made. All the little spinners and spoons and plugs. Yeah, the old man made that. I've never even seen the water, to be fair. I wouldn't ever dare use it, I'd be too scared to lose the thing, but it's very nostalgic, isn't it, and sentimental to have yes. that sort of stuff about. And looking at all the pictures, there's one thing that stands out. You're not just a carp angler, so. Nah, uh, I'd say I'm uh, a pike angler who goes carp fishing in the summer. Definitely. Yeah, I've always been a pike angler since I was a kid. And not just pike either, because behind you to your left, I can see a big brace of, are they rud? Yeah, that's river cam. Um, oh yeah, I fish for everything. I love my roach fishing probably more than my rud fishing. It's a bit more cold weather. I do like the cold weather, like today. It's a cold one today. Okay, so to get in that, into that kind of fishing, you know, a lot of people that are probably watching these films, I'd imagine they are out and out, they are out and out carp anglers. That's most yeah. likely going to be the case. So, how did you get to a point where you became not just obsessed with fishing, but actually stayed obsessed with all aspects of it? Because a natural progression for a lot of people is to start fishing for the likes of rudd, pike, and then it seems a lot of people move into carp fishing. You've not done that. You still continue to do a mixture of, so what is it that's kept you doing that style of fishing? Or all of those styles of fishing? Uh, take it, just going back to my family roots. My, it's what the old man taught me ever since I was a tiny boy, you know? So every time you get that float rod out, it's like going back to being a child, ain't it? And obviously you get better and you go to more venues with bigger fish and you find them yourself. So you like you progress over the years, I suppose. But it's still the same as when I was a boy. I still have that same love. Like every Sunday, my dad would take me fishing. Winter, it would be for pike. Spring, it would be for tench and eels and things waking up perch. Whatever would take a worm, like you wouldn't go anywhere without a pint of maggots. And it's the same now. Bread flakes, like, yeah, you just can't beat it. So tell us about your dad, because I know that he, you know, I've known you a long time. And everyone that knows you knows how influential your dad was. So tell tell me and everyone else a little bit about, tell us about your old man, um, as you call him. The old man, he was just an old rub, to be honest, but, you know, he was rough. Really, big, massive beard, long hair tattoos, like head to foot. If you see him, you wouldn't actually go near him. A lot of people would be like, fuck that, you stay well clear of him. But to talk to you after a while, he was the loveliest person ever, you know, he taught me everything. Like, he could tell you every single British bird egg in the country, all their songs, what nests they had, all the birds that fly about. 
do you know? So he was like so influential on how he brought us up. And I suppose to a point of like setting the fire for us kids, I reckon I was about five years old and the old man caught a, it was a 28 pound 11 pike. He had it twice in a month. And a year later he found it dead. And he got, he saved up his money and got it stuffed. And I remember going to Ipswich with him in his transit as a little boy and picking it up. And ever since then, a 28 pound pike has sat on the wall at home. And I kid you not, if that doesn't set like a spark in someone's heart, do you know what I mean, to do that, then nothing would. And I, I, don't, I doubt the old man done it like intentionally to, but I'd stare at that thing for hours. I'd stand up on a chair and look in its mouth and it's got a roach hanging out there. It's got a roach hanging out there the mouth and yeah you just stare at it for hours all the teeth on the tongue and yeah it was amazing so like yeah he was just a very outdoors person you know and he taught us everything how to cut down trees how to build sheds how to skin rabbits you've just had a small taste of the content we produce here at sopography and if you would like the full experience please head over to www.sopography.co.uk where we have over 600 premium videos waiting for you